Hey folks, Captain Mark here, Kid Coach Chiefs Outdoors, how to bait a jig for blackfish. To catch these, cut straws of these, how you doing ladies? And look at Joey Tiles of sea bass right there. Look at the size of this thing. Just the beginning guys, that's all it is. What? Well, welcome, my little pieces of pumpernickel bread. What? All right, welcome to Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. This episode right now is baiting blackfish jigs for blackfish. And those jigs, of course, are tattletail jigs. The Chubby Kid would not be doing a video on tattletails if they weren't the best in the industry, right? That's a fact of life. Chubby Kid, straight up with the con. It's a dish. All right, so basically, I reached out to John Knight, founder, CEO, CFO, XYZ, PBQ, LYNY, Quesadish, made a mooch of title tail jigs. And uh, I said, John, I want to make sure that I tell the viewing audience that we're on the same page here. I know, I'm assuming that we do, do this the same way, bait these uh, Asian crabs the same way. However, the chubby kid, I deal in facts, all right? So I called John and said, hey, Johnny boy. Johnny. John, John. John boy, Quesadish, made a mooch. Yes, he yes, did. I did. Oh, really? Great. What? No, it wasn't anything like that, all right? Just put that in white so that stuff. I have no idea. So Johnny's on the phone, you get, and he tells me, as a matter of fact, he sends me a picture of how he does it. Right there, that is the picture, all right? I do the same way. What happens is when you hook it from the uh, back socket towards the front, keep them in the leg sockets, these uh, crabs still have the ability to move, all right? You drop that crab down into a structure, or you drop that crab, crab into a rock pile wreck, that crab's gonna say, this is no bueno, and he's gonna try to get into some type of cover. As he does that, what happens is you'll probably see a couple of blackfish going like this. What was that? Was that just an Asian crab? Not that we don't like Asians on this video, what? which we do, we love the Asians. Is that an Asian crab? I think you're getting yourself in trouble here. Really? They may be screaming safe Stop space. Uh, is that an Asian crab? I said that five times already. And what happens is the black crab now go over there and say, Today's not your day, pal. You going into the uh, chubby kid's belly. The chubby kid, meaning the blackfish belly. Pass on it, say hello to it, case of the you made a mooch. As he does that, remember the technique. None of this jazz, kind of lifting up and hey, how you doing? All right, the con you said, who we have? We have Team Pasulka, all right? P-I-S-U-L-C-A. All right, huge tog right here and a huge bass. These young men are making it happen out there, putting in the work. Congratulations to Team Basulka. And of course, Matthew Mazzarelli, 38 pound king salmon on the Oswego River. I'm assuming Matthew has his little secret spot there on the Oswego River that nobody knows about, so congratulations to Matthew too. <laughs> no I'm kidding. The kid's putting in the time, I mean, gosh. Gotta love that thing, things the size of he is. All right, so let's get back to, uh, this is how we are going to use the banana jigs from Tidal Tales. Slightly different, they don't lay as flat, they kind of lay upright. So this is the way I usually do this, uh, the banana jig, all right? I will take it through the leg socket again, come out the top of the body right there, and usually what I'll do is I'll crack the shell. These crabs are very resilient. They're gonna walk right away with that hook right through their body. They don't care, they're tough. Until, of course, big blackfish comes down and pounces on them and eats them, all right? That's the way blackfish usually uh, will eat. They're either gonna come down and they'll push you down to the ground, disable the crab, and then start saying hello to them, all right? That's the way it works. Or sometimes they're just gonna say there are multiple fish there. They're gonna grab the crab and take off, and people a lot uh, experienced blackfishing know that bite too, all right? So, the key factor here with jigging blackfish though is something that you want to learn. Yeah, you have to learn the technique and everything. We're going to go through that right now. As a matter of fact, let's just shoot over to John, uh, John Knight right now. John Knight is the owner, founder, CEO of Tidal Tales and Jigging Blackfish. So he's going to show you really quickly how to do it. So I will take this and I'll actually pitch it up into the rocks and then just hold this this way and then I'll wash the line. All right now the crab's actually crawling around on right. the rocks. Blackfish comes along and sees them, tips going bang, 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 right? Big blackfish, and you just reel down. There it is. Uh, oh my God. Yeah. And thank you, John. All right, same technique with me. I'll show you right now how I will set these fish up, all right? Again, the key here to blackfishing right now is not to snap that when you feel that bite. Just lift it, 
when you start lifting that and you feel weight, stay low to it, all right? The rod tip is gonna get hit, and then the rod tip's gonna get pulled down just a hair. When he pulls down, you're just gonna lift up. Once he's there, you just gonna say hello, a little hello to him, and start reeling, keep that fish up out of, the, out of the rocks, all right? Now, where do you find these fish, all right? That's pretty simple. Shallow water in the beginning of the season, right now is when it's supposed to be. I'm a little late with this thing, I'm late, even late with this video, right? I know people have been emailing me. This is ridiculous, two days late. It's coming, it's right now, you're watching it, all right? But, I've been up hunting, so I missed a couple of days, I'm all screwed up, so why am I going that here? My point is that, all right, blackfish are bad, they're tough fish. I mean, you can catch a fish, stick it in your front pocket, and about eight hours later, the thing's still alive. I don't know. You do that to any other fish, the thing is uh, cancel Christmas, for goodness sakes. What? All right. So these fish now are tidal feeders. So they're, if, if you're riding around your boat, and this is wherever the heck you guys live, on, this, on the North Shore, on the Sound, Long Island Sound, got a huge uh, presence over in the Sound of the Con. You guys have so much structure there, it's ridiculous, that these fish now, if, you, if you're looking on the beach and you see that, that structure works its way up the beach. In other words, you see a whole crap of boulders on the beach. And then outside that in the water is also boulders. Go on there and flip jigs into that. That's what happens. These fish now will start working their way as that tide lifts, as the tide rises and works its way up the beach. These blackfish will come up and feed too. And then they're also going to work their way out. And you guys know that the Asian crabs will work their way up into the shallows and under the rocks on the beach, literally on dry land. So as that happens, these blackfish are going to start working their way up and feeding that way too. So that's just a tip right there if you want to find out how to jig and where to jig, how to is important and where to is important too, all right? Structure, rubble, that's it. Blackfish have a house. Let's just, let, I'm just trying, I make, I try to make this as simple as possible for my viewing audience, all right? Love when he does that. Stop talking about Kid Coat Cheese and get back to work. Blackfish live in a house, pretend. It's the big rock over there with a bunch of other big rocks. That's where they go and they hang out and they uh, they say, hey, how are you doing to each other, all right? What happens is they leave the house when they're ready to feed and they'll come out into different pieces of bodies of water, all right? And they're gonna start working rubble piles and that's how you'll find these fish. So you have big rocks associated with close rubble piles. These fish now will work their way out or they'll work their way up the beach as the tide rises, doing stuff like that. As the water gets deeper, as the, as the season gets longer into November, these fish will go deeper and the same rules apply. There'll be a, a condominium over here with rock piles over here. They leave the condo, work their way over to the rock piles, feed, go back into the condo at night and crash. All right? They literally sleep. Blackfish will sleep. All right? There's tons of footage on the internet of blackfish sleeping. So if you want to Google that, do it. All right? So that's how it works. So blackfish, to target these things properly is you'll look at structure big structure where they live and then you're gonna to have to find where they're gonna feed so structure big ones here so big rocks over there fairly close by rubble piles smaller groups of rocks that's where they come out and they're gonna feed you target the rubble piles people say well, let me go to the house and eat they're not necessarily feeding on the big rocks they're feeding around the big rocks they're feeding into the, the smaller piles around the uh, big rocks all right that's my experience wrong 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 all right, guys, just got to stop here. We're doing a quick moment here. I'm out there fishing, out there by myself, doing exactly what I'm telling you guys, jigging blackfish, and next thing you know, I hear a guy yell, Kid Coat Cheese out. So basically what I do is I move my 4-5 work to the nuts, Glock 3-6. I had done. Then I realized it was one of the con, all right? He's out there on a kayak. He's working his way through. Here he is. Yeah. It's not a... <laughs> you too, be careful out there. You need a water or anything, a beer or anything? Huh? You need anything to drink? You need anything to drink or anything? I'm good. Cigar? Thank you, buddy. Alright, man. Gotta get a hat one day. <laughs> and a sticker, I need a love line. Alright, so that guy's fantastic. He needs a hat, he needs a, uh, a con sticker. Right there, on these hats, as a matter of fact. He's a con sticker, because he needs some uh, female companionship, all right? I told you, I've told you this from get-go, from Jump Street, that you wear one of these hats or wear a con sticker, there's a very good chance you may get attacked viciously, physically, by a supermodel, or something just a hair below a supermodel. All right, you want to order them? 
Go below in the description. I've told this, I, I, I don't want to get angry here. Because I can get angry right now. I can get angry, like, like that I can get angry. I get angry at these toolboxes kneeling at the flag. And these nimrods and these pathetic J-jobs out there kneeling at the flag. I'm that close to snapping on every NFL player in the, in the world right now. That close. All right? Chubby Kid is present soldiers on a sound limited. Right there. All right? One of the biggest, if not the biggest, charity organizations in the state of New York. And how much do we get paid for that as, as committee members and stuff? How much money do we take? Well, that's right. We take zero. Everything we take in, we give back to the soldiers. Nobody takes a salary. Why is that? Because that's the way it's supposed to be. Now, let's think about this. NFL players, they make millions and millions of dollars. I wonder how much money is going back to help their cause and, and make everything honky-dory out there, make a kumbaya world. Zero, all right? Talk is cheap, all right? Kneel down and disrespect our military. I should, I should, I, if I had a can of whoop ass right now, I'd open it right now and freaking go bananas right now. I can go on a tear for this forever. Absolutely disgusting what they do. At least the only thing good about it is it frees up a bunch of blackfish people to go fishing on Sundays now and not watch that stupid game. All right, pathetic. Absolutely pathetic, all right? And on that note, I will be giving away a free Soldiers on the Sound hat to somebody who comments below and uh, says something nice about our military. Because if you don't say something about you nice about our military, there's something wrong with you, all right? Have some respect for our military. The men, women, black, Hispanic, Asian, white, are dying overseas so you can play your football, all right? Wise up. See what happens right there? I get angry again. All right, and don't forget that this this little tirade is that of Kiki Cheese Outdoors. Not any sponsors, all right? But that's the way I feel. Folks, I'd like to thank you for watching Kick Coat Cheese Outdoors. Follow us on Instagram right there, Kick Coat Cheese underscore. No, it's at Kick Coat Cheese. Oh, mama jamma. That's not good. Watch. I'm going to answer those Maki Mark. What's up, Holmes? Maki Mark. What's going on? Uh huh. Chubby Kid knows. Nothing much, Johnny. Just uh, talking on, Insta uh, on Instagram. Talking uh, oh. on video right now. Say hello to Kick Coat Cheese Outdoors Nation, Johnny. Hello there, Kid Coach East Outdoors. How you guys doing? I'm all right. All right, stand by. I got to shut this down. Stay on the phone. All right, folks, thanks for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. On behalf of me, Big John, a.k.a. Garfield, a.k.a. Buttons. We'll catch you next time. Get a day. Hey, folks, thanks for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. If you have a moment, consider subscribing, like, comment below, and God bless America. Guess that dish made a mooch and forever shake it is.